Jesus. How are you? How did the meeting go? It went very well. It was good to talk to you yesterday. I enjoyed meeting you last week. Thank you for your message. I've attached a copy of my report. Everything looks fine. No change is needed. Laron, please make the arrangements. Please call me. Please do not hesitate to contact me. I look forward to meeting you on Friday. Look forward to hearing from you soon. See you next week. All the best. 1.1 Beginnings and Endings The writers know each other well. Subject, Leadership Course Hi Kim. How are you? It was good to talk yesterday. I'm finalizing the details of the leadership course and I want to be sure that everything is correct. Can you check the brochure again before it goes to the printer, especially pages 5 to 7? Please email me or call me on my mobile if any changes are needed. Best regards. Anders. Reply. Anders. Everything looks fine. No change is needed. See you next week. All the best. Kim. The writers know each other. Subject, meeting 25 May. Dear Miss Novitna. It was good to meet you at the conference last week. I would like to invite you to visit us on Monday 25 May at 11.15, so that we can continue our discussions. I hope that you can come. Yours sincerely. Picky Gonzalez Mrs. Head of Personnel. Reply. Dear Mrs. Gonzalez. Thank you for the invitation. I look forward to meeting you again on 25 May at 11.15 a.m. Yours sincerely. Ta Anavidna. The writers do not know each other. Subject, Insurance Policy Number RT 4968. Dear Sir, Madam. I would like to check our insurance cover. We will be shipping new equipment to our Birmingham office next month. Do we need to change our policy or will it be covered? Yours faithfully. Dr. Slack Senior Manager. Reply. Dear Dr. Slack. This is to confirm that your current policy covers you and that you do not need to take any further action. If you have any other queries, please do not hesitate to contact me. Yours sincerely. N. Nahal Administrator. Notes. Beginning a message. Hi hello good morning good afternoon. Dear Miss, Mrs, Mr. Saying why you are writing. I'm writing to let you know. Just a note to let you know. This is to let you know that. Look forward plus verbing form. I look forward to meeting you. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to receiving the report. The way to end a message. Regards. Best regards. Best wishes. All the best. Cheers. Yours sincerely.
1.2 basic layout a standard letter 7 nogan road shipsum northshire kt 349p uk 18 april 20th dear mr lowden it was good to meet you at the seminar in Paris, I am going to be in Amsterdam in June and I would like to arrange a meeting with you as you suggested. We have many new products that I am sure will interest you. Could you let me know if you are available on June 5th or 6th? I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yours sincerely, Isabel Hardy A Memo to all heads of department from Pamela Newman director of corporate planning date 14 June 20th subject agent visit please note that Anju our Korean agent will be visiting the company next Friday 21 June. You are invited to meet her in the conference room at 10.30 am, and you will give us the latest information on the Korean market, and she will answer any questions you may have. There will be a buffet lunch at midday. Please confirm that you can attend. A group email. Dear all. I've attached a copy of the menu for the annual dinner. Please let me know what you would like by the end of this week. Laron, can you make the arrangements for the music? Thanks, Klaus. Notes It was good to meet you at the seminar in Paris. Do you remember that we met at the Expo presentation? We spoke at the recent conference. I would like to arrange a meeting with you. I am writing to confirm arrangements. I would like to check some details with you. It would be a good to continue our discussions. I would like to show you our new brochure. Could you let me know if you are available? Could you let me know as soon as possible? Could you call me? Could you let me know if everything is okay? I look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to meeting you soon. I look forward to receiving the document. Looking forward to your reply. Please note that. Please confirm that you can attend. Please reply as soon as possible. Please contact me by Friday. Please confirm that you can attend. Let me know if you can come. Please confirm that you can come to the meeting. Please let everyone know about the arrangements. I've attached a copy of the menu. Here is the menu. The report is attached. Please find attached the report as requested. Here with the files you asked for. Laron, can you make the arrangements? John, please call me when you receive this. Sonia. Can you forward this message to Oliver? John, please make the necessary arrangement. 2. Making contact. Some useful phrases. I have seen the advertisement on your web page. Could you please send me some more information? Thank you for your email. I have attached an application form. Please return it to us. Please let me know if you need any further information. 
We are writing to inform you that we are organizing a meeting in Tokyo. Can you complete the booking form? Please take a look at our website. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We were very interested to hear about the conference. We are an established company in the UK. We export to Brazil. Looking forward to seeing you in Toronto. 2.1 Message 1 A first contact from an individual. Dear Miss Giles, I have seen the advertisement on your web page and would like to apply for the post of International Marketing Manager. I am currently working as a marketing assistant for a publishing company in London. I would be grateful if you could send me an application form and some information about the post. Thank you in advance. Yours sincerely, Jean Lucray in ears. An acknowledgement. Dear Jean Luc. Thank you for your email. I am pleased to attach our online application form and some information about the post, as requested. Could you also complete the attached questionnaire and return it to us by the end of the week? I look forward to hearing from you soon. Best regards, Sora Giles, Human Resources Manager. A reply. Dear Miss Giles, Please find attached my completed application form and a copy of my CV for your information. I look forward to your reply. Best regards, Jean Lucray in ears. Chasing up information. Dear Jean Luc. Thank you for your recent application. However, we have not yet received your completed questionnaire. Could you please return this as soon as possible? Please let me know if you have any queries. Best regards, Sora Giles. A reply. Dear Miss Giles. Please find attached my completed questionnaire. I apologize for not sending this earlier. Please call me on my mobile 0812074-5614 if you need any further information. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. Best regards, Jean Lucray in ears. Notes I have seen the advertisement on your web page. Thanks for your email. We met at the conference last week. I read your report with interest. I am currently working as a marketing assistant for a publishing company in London. I have been working as a sales advisor since May. I have been in the export business for three years. I have been a lecturer since 2001. Thank you for your interest in our company. We were pleased to hear that you are interested in. I am pleased to attach our online application form. Please find attached. Please take a look at the attached file. The attachments will give you the information you need. I look forward to your reply. I look forward to hearing from you soon. I await your reply very formal. Please let me know if you have any queries. Please contact us if you have any queries. Please do not hesitate to let us know if you require any further information. I apologize for not sending this earlier. I am sorry I did not send this earlier. I'm sorry I forgot to send it informal. Please call me on my mobile. Please contact me on extension 232. Please visit our website at www.filton.ac.uk.
You can email me at ac at gmail.com. 2.2 Message 2 A first contact from a company. Dear colleagues, We are writing to invite you to a conference in Tokyo. This will be an excellent opportunity to meet local suppliers and agents. Please take a look at our website at www.eclos.company.np where you will find details of the conference schedule and our online registration form. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you require any further information. Yours sincerely, Mine Marakishimoto, Conference Organizer. A reply. Dear Miss Kishimoto, we were very interested to hear about the forthcoming conference in Tokyo and would like to attend. I am pleased to attach our completed registration form and look forward to hearing from you soon. Yours sincerely, Guillermo Ravallo. A request for further information. Dear Mr. Ravallo, we have received your application and are pleased to inform you that we have reserved a stand and some video equipment for you, as you requested on your registration form. Could you please send us a 50-word summary of your company, for our conference handbook, by the end of the week? Best regards, Mine Marai Kishimoto, Conference Organizer. Introducing the company. Dear Miss Kishimoto. Thank you for your email. Here is a summary of our company for the handbook. We are an established company in the UK with over 30 years experience of providing management training for the manufacturing and service industries. We can provide a range of training programs, on-site, at a venue in the UK, or online, at a competitive price. I hope this is acceptable. If not please do not hesitate to contact me. Looking forward to meeting you in Tokyo. Best regards, Guillermo Ravallo. Notes We are writing to invite you to a conference. Please take a look at our website. Please visit our website. You will find our website at could you please send us a dot dot summary of your company? We would be grateful if you could provide us with the summary. A summary gives the most important facts in a brief way. By the end of the week. Before Friday. On Monday at 9 a.m. Within the next 24 hours. In an hour. We are an established company in the UK. We are a large manufacturing company specializing in. We are one of the leading producers of. We are the leading exporters of. Practice. We are leading exporter of electrical goods. I am currently working as a financial advisor. I would like to apply for the position of chief executive. I have been working at Framco since March. I enclose an application form as requested. I would like the work completed by the end of the week. Please telephone me on 0039572346698. Please email me at john at gmail.com for any further information. We are a large manufacturing company specializing in glassware. We are pleased to invite you to our forthcoming conference in Phnom Penh. 3. Arrangements some useful phrases. We would be very pleased if you could visit our company. Please let us know your availability. Are you free on Monday afternoon? Can you send me a map please? I've attached a map and directions to our office.
I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I've put together an itinerary for the China trip. I'm taking the 7.30 flight to Paris tomorrow morning. I'm writing to confirm my hotel reservation. I'm sorry I wasn't free. I've been delayed in Paris. He's missed his flight. I'll be away from my office for a few days. I tried to ring you back yesterday. The number was engaged. I'll call again tomorrow. 3.1 Arranging a visit An invitation Dear Miss Dunn, we were interested to hear that you will be in Japan for the International Motor Conference, and we would be very pleased if you could visit our company during your stay in Tokyo. Please let us know your availability and we will arrange a tour of our factory. We hope to have the opportunity of meeting you soon. Yours sincerely, Mr. Taro Sato. Replying to an invitation Dear Mr. Sato, thank you for the invitation to visit your company. I would be very interested in seeing your factory as I have heard excellent reports on your latest production line technology. I will be available on 6th May if this is convenient for you. I look forward to your confirmation. Yours sincerely, Miss Gloria Dunn. A confirmation. Hi John, just to confirm your visit to us on Friday May 31st at 10 a.m. If you come to reception and ask for me. I will meet you there. If you need to contact me, please call me on my mobile 0797563940. See you Friday. Regards Kevin. Sending Directions Dear Miss Bromley, I am pleased you are able to visit us on 21st. I am attaching a map with directions to our facility. In case you need it, please let me know when you hope to arrive. When you arrive at the main gate, security will give you a visitor's pass. Follow the road around to the main reception, where I have reserved a car park space for you. Looking forward to meeting you next week. Regards, Jacob Letterman Chasing Up Information Dear Miss Bromley I'm just finalizing arrangements for your visit. Do you know when you are planning to arrive yet? Best regards, Jacob Letterman. Notes We would be very pleased if you could visit our company. We are holding a conference in London and would be very pleased if you could attend. We would like to invite you to an evening reception. Please join us for lunch tomorrow. Would you like to visit our new factory? Please let us know your availability. When would be convenient? Are you free on Tuesday? Thank you for the invitation to visit your company. I was very pleased to receive your invitation. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks for the invite. I look forward to your confirmation. Could you please confirm this? Can you confirm as soon as possible? Just to confirm your visit to us. I am writing to confirm details of your visit to our company next week. I am attaching a map. Leave the motorway at Junction 14, turn left onto the A37. Our office is one mile along this road on the left. Follow the road around to the main reception. Follow the main road into town, and you will find us on the right. Stay on this road until you reach the hotel. Keep going straight. 
Turn left at the station. Go straight along the corridor. Do you know when you are planning to arrive yet? Any news about when you plan to arrive? Please advise your arrival time. 3.2 Travel Arrangements Arranging an Itinerary Helena, I've put together the following itinerary. Can you let me know what you think about it? We need to finalize it today. Tuesday 22 Departure from Milan at 11.05 on flight BA-68, arriving Manchester at 11.25. Afternoon visit to Salford site. Overnight stay at Hilton Hotel, Salford. Wednesday 23 Pick up by company car at 8 o'clock. All day visit to Newcastle on Tyne site. Return flight to Milan departing at 17.05 on flight BA-67, arriving at 19.20. All the best, Michelle. Making a booking, Simon, I'm booking Don's flights today for the Berlin meeting. Do you want to travel with him? The Lufthansa flight leaves London at 7.30 on Wednesday morning. And there's a return flight on Thursday evening at 17. Shall I reserve you a seat on the same flights? Let me know if this suits you, Holly. Confirming a reservation Dear Miss Torrell, I am writing to confirm the reservation, made by phone this morning, for two single rooms at the Hotel Serban on May 26, for Miss Seelan and Mr. Mora. They will arrive at the hotel at about 7 p.m., and they would like to have dinner at 8 p.m. Could you please email us a map and directions? Yours sincerely, James Evans. Checking Travel Arrangements Dear David, could you check out the following for me please? Has the airline reserved an aisle seat for me on tomorrow's flight to Berlin? Has Franz organized a company car to collect me from the airport? Let me know if there are any problems. Thanks, Joe. Notes I've put together the following itinerary. The agent has changed the itinerary. I've fixed the itinerary for our Japan trip. We need to finalize it today. We'll finalize the details today. Can we finalize the schedule today? Departure from Milan at 11.05 on Flight 3 A68. The plane departs from Paris at 8 o'clock. I'm traveling on Flight KLM 646 to Osaka. We're leaving at midday. I arrive at Terminal 3 at 1900 hours. Pick up by company car at 8. An airport pickup can be arranged. I'll pick you up at the station. I'm catching the early train. The conference starts at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Coaches leave the airport every 30 minutes. Shall I reserve you a seat on the same flights? Shall I finish the report for you? Shall we meet for lunch? What shall we do about the problem? I am writing to confirm the reservation. I'm writing to change my reservation. I'm afraid I have to cancel my reservation. Can I check my reservation? Can you check the following for me please? Can you check out the flight times? We need to check out before 7 o'clock to catch our flight. Did you reserve a window seat for me? Have you reconfirmed my flight? Did you book an economy ticket? Has the airline reserved an aisle seat for me? 
3.3 Taking and forwarding messages Leaving a message Lee Wan, thank you for your phone call this morning. I'm sorry I wasn't free to speak. I tried to call you back this afternoon to arrange a meeting, but the number was engaged. You can call me at the office on 0329381888 best before 3.30 or on my mobile 0133511111. Sue so, Passing on a message Dear Andreas Jane Baxter called today. She's been delayed in Shanghai, so she'll miss the dinner this evening with you and Mr. Holm. Can you give her apologies? Please. Can you also tell Mr. Holland that there are still some details to sort out with the contract? Can he call her tonight, please, at the hotel, Ling 5 High? Forwarding a message Sandy, hope you had a good break in Italy. I've just received the draft itinerary for Sweden from Helen. Have a look at it over the weekend. We can then discuss it on Monday. Bye for now, Stefan. An acknowledgement. Thanks for this, Stefan. It looks fine, but I'll go through it carefully this weekend and we can discuss it on Monday. Let's say 10 a.m. in my office, Sandy. An automatic email reply. I shall be away from the office until 22 July. If you need an urgent reply, Please contact Eve Wheeler on 0926699988. Notes I'm sorry I wasn't free to speak. I was on another line. I was in a meeting. I was out of the office. I tried to call you back this afternoon. Can you call back tomorrow? I'll ask her to call you back. I tried to return your call. There was no reply. I had the wrong number. I couldn't get through. She's been delayed in Shanghai. She's been delayed at the airport. He's been held up in Paris. He's missed his flight. Can you give her apologies, please? Can you send Sara's apologies? Please give her apologies. Can you apologize on her behalf, please? There are still some details to sort out. To sort out is to solve difficulties or problems. There's been a misunderstanding, I'll try and sort it out by tomorrow. We've sorted out the computer system. Can he call her tonight, please? Please call Sally today. Can John fax the report to France? Please let him know David will be late. I've just received the draft itinerary for Sweden from Helen. Have a look at it. Take a look at the itinerary which Helen has sent. I'm forwarding an itinerary from Helen for you to look at. Let's say 10 a.m. in my office. What about 10 a.m. in my office? Can you make 10 a.m.? How about 2 p.m. tomorrow? I shall be away from the office until 22 July. I will be on leave until 22 August. I will be away on business until 2 May. I will be out of the office from Monday 2nd June. 4. Meetings some useful phrases. We need to set up a meeting. 
How about next week sometime? What about Tuesday at 10 a.m. in my office? Are we still okay for Friday? We could have a working lunch. Can you confirm the meeting on the 17th in Prague? Can you get back to me today? It's in my diary. Can we reschedule for Monday? Can you let me have all agenda items today please? We'll need to circulate the agenda. Let me know if you want to make any changes. We'll need to rearrange the program. I've attached the minutes of the meeting. I was interested to read the action points. Thank you for your comments. 4.1 Setting up a meeting 1. Suggesting a meeting. Eduardo, we need to set up a meeting as soon as possible to discuss your new contract. How about next week sometime, Kate? Suggesting a date, time and place. Kate, I leave for Spain on Wednesday. So we'll need to meet before then. What about Tuesday at 1 p.m. in the canteen? We could have a working lunch. Can you get back to me today, Eduardo? Agreeing. Dear Mr. Sato, I would be very pleased to visit you next Tuesday, as you suggested. 3 p.m. would be fine with me. I will be with one of my colleagues, Miss Ashley. Our new production manager. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Best regards, Ms. Sue Winter. Confirming a meeting. Maria, can you confirm the meeting on the 21st in Bonn? It's in my diary but I have had no information about it. I know there was a possibility of postponing it. We need to finalize arrangements today. Regards, Piers. An urgent meeting. We have a serious problem with the packaging of one of our products. I want to meet urgently with all senior managers at 2 p.m. this afternoon in my office. The purpose of the meeting is to brief you on the problem, decide the action we need to take and discuss how to manage the media. Please clear your diaries for the whole of the afternoon. RL notes we need to set up a meeting i'd like to meet tomorrow we are holding a meeting at 2 p.m there will be a staff meeting tomorrow how about next week sometime how does next week look can you let me know your availability next week? What about Tuesday at 1 p.m.? How about Tuesday at 1 p.m.? Are you available on Tuesday at 1 p.m.? Can you manage 1 p.m. on Tuesday? Is 1 p.m. on Tuesday convenient? We'll meet in my office. A working lunch is when you carry on working while you are eating lunch. I would be very pleased to visit you next Tuesday. 3 p.m. would be fine with me. 3 p.m. is okay for me. 3 p.m. suits me. 3 p.m. is fine. Can you confirm the meeting on the 21st in Bonn? Is next Tuesday's meeting in Bonn still on? Are we still okay for the 21st? We need to finalize arrangements today.
we need to contact him immediately. You need to check the details carefully. I want to meet urgently. We'll have to do this immediately. This will need immediate action. This is a priority. 4.2 Setting up a meeting too. Setting the agenda. Dear all, can you have a look at the agenda for Friday's meeting and let me know as soon as possible if you want to make any changes. Please let me know in advance if you are unable to attend for any reason. Changing the agenda. Please note the change to item 2 on the agenda for this week's sales meeting. As Sharon Despoise will be away, I have moved the international strategies paper to next week. We now have a slot to discuss customer service. Could you all therefore send your reports to Jane by Wednesday? She will circulate these to everyone prior to the meeting. Negotiating Changes Emma, you asked me to present the costs for the CP2 model at tomorrow's meeting. Unfortunately, our computer system is down today, so I am not able to access the figures. Is it possible to put this on the agenda for Monday's meeting? Martine. Finalizing Arrangements To all departmental managers. Can we meet in my office tomorrow at 8.30 a.m.? I'd like to run through the final arrangements for the staff induction day on Monday. We are expecting more than 25 new employees so we need to ensure that everything runs smoothly. Jim Downs Notes I'm attaching the minutes of the last meeting. Here are the minutes of Friday's meeting. Please note that item 2 on the agenda has now changed. I have moved the international strategies paper to next week. Please advise if you want to make any amendments to the agenda. There is a change to item 3 on the agenda. Could you draft an agenda for Friday's meeting? Is it possible to put this on the agenda for Monday's meeting? Is there any chance of putting this on the agenda for Monday's meeting? Would it be possible to discuss this at Monday's meeting? I'd like to run through the final arrangements. To run through something is to look at the details to make sure you are familiar with everything. Let's go through all the final arrangements. Let's go over the final arrangements for tomorrow. We need to ensure that everything runs. 4.3 Meeting follow-up Suggested Amendments Dear Don, I've just looked at the minutes and realized that I'll be out of the country again on the 24th. We'll need to rearrange a date for my briefing to the team. I suggest the 2nd June. Can you please send out an amendment to everyone, if this date suits you? Sorry about this, Martina. Comments Don, sorry I couldn't make today's meeting. I've just heard from the printers that there has been a problem with the machine, so we're expecting a delay of about three days. They will still be ready in time for Martina's trip. By the way, they look great. I was interested to see a new sales target for next quarter too. We'll have a busy few weeks, Jamie. Thanks. Don, thanks for your comments on our performance this quarter. I've passed on your congratulations to the team. Everyone has worked very hard. Thank you for all your support during the past few weeks. Liang Notes
all teams to provide weekly report. Brochure to be ready by 8th April. Congratulations to marketing team. Press officer to contact local media. There will be a briefing meeting at 2 p.m. Could all managers please attend the team briefing this afternoon? Please schedule the meeting for Friday. Can you schedule the interviews for next week? I suggest the 2nd June. What about 2nd June? Let's change it to 2nd June. I understand from the minutes that we have a new sales target. Thanks for your comments on. I appreciate your comments on. I am very grateful for your comments on. I've passed on your congratulations to the team. I'll pass on your thanks. Could you pass on the message to him please? Thank you for all your support. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you. 5. Inquiries Some useful phrases we are looking for a new supplier. We are very interested in your new range of products. Please send us a current price list. Thank you for your interest in our products. I have attached a copy of our latest company brochure. I will send you a copy of our new catalog. You will find further information on our website. Please have a look at our website. We are having problems with the new machine. What would you advise us to do? Who would you recommend? Sorry to hear about your problems. Have you thought about contacting EFPC? I can strongly recommend them. It's a very reliable company. You could also contact Universal Tools. 5.1 Messages 1 A General Inquiry Dear Sir, Madam, we are looking for a new supplier of healthcare products and your company has been recommended to us. Please send me a current price list, together with information on delivery times and costs. We would be grateful if you could include some samples. Best regards, Paolo Sambaco. A reply. Dear Mr. Sambaco. Thank you for your interest in our products. Your email was forwarded to me by our colleagues in Sweden. We offer a wide range of products, all based on natural materials and we believe in buying from fair trade organizations. You will find further information on our website. Please email me your postal address and I will send you a copy of our new catalog. We have local representatives and I would be happy to arrange a visit. I look forward to hearing from you. Yours sincerely, Francesca Morwa. A further request. Dear Ms. Morwa, many thanks for your prompt response to my inquiry. Your catalog arrived yesterday. Would it be possible for one of your representatives to visit us? We are very interested in ordering from you but there are a number of things which we would like to discuss face to face. Best regards, Paolo Sambaco. A reply. Dear Mr. Sambaco. Thank you for requesting a visit from one of our representatives, Eva Gavx, our senior sales manager will be in Italy during the last two weeks of May. Would May 24th be a suitable time to visit you? If not, 
Perhaps you could suggest some alternatives. Looking forward to hearing from you, Francesca Morwa. A cover note. With compliments as requested, I enclose a copy of our latest company brochure. Please let me know if you require any further information. Regards, Moraz. Notes, please send me a current price list. Can you please, send us information about? Could you please, send a list of your products? Can you let us have more details? Thank you for your interest in our products. Thank you for requesting information about. Thank you for your inquiry about. Thank you for inquiring about. Your email was forwarded to me. I will pass on your message. Your letter was sent on to me. Please forward this message to the appropriate department formal. We believe in buying from fair trade organizations. We insist on buying from local producers. We are very interested in doing business with your company. The company is good at dealing with problems. You will find further information on our website. More details are available on the website. You can find out more by logging onto our website. Visit our website at I will send you a copy of our new catalog. I'll send you our brochure. I'll make sure you receive our catalog. I'll post it today. Many thanks for your prompt response. Many thanks for your quick response. Thanks for getting back to me so quickly. We are very interested in ordering from you. Would May 24th be a suitable time to visit you? Does Thursday suit you? What is the best time for you? Would May 24th be okay? I enclose a copy of our latest company brochure. I have enclosed the report. The report is enclosed. Here with the information you requested. 5.2 Messages 2 Specific Inquiries Dear Bill, we are having problems with the new machine that you installed for us in the new year. Every time we run the machine for more than four hours it overheats. Our engineers have followed all the instructions in the manual but there is no improvement. What would you advise us to do? By the way, do you know where can we obtain parts for our DCI equipment? Our handbook doesn't list local suppliers. Are there any that you can recommend? Many thanks Lee. Advice and Recommendations Dear Lee, sorry to hear about your problems. I'd like to send one of our engineers to your factory before offering any advice. He should be with you by 10 a.m. tomorrow. In the meantime, it's best not to start the machine again until he arrives. As for the parts have you considered contacting Goodall? We have used them a lot and I can strongly recommend them. Their delivery times are good and they are very reliable. Also you could contact Universal Tools. Their number is 604934. Best regards, Bill. A request for information. Dear Sir, Madam, 
I have visited your website www.english4.company.uk and I would be grateful if you could send me further information about your courses. I would like to attend a general business English course starting in February. If you do not offer a suitable course at this time, please recommend an alternative. I studied English for five years at school and three years at university. Best wishes. Jose Sanchez Forwarding a request Dear Jose, A, thank you for your inquiry. I'm afraid we do not run any general business English courses in February. I have forwarded your inquiry to Filton College which runs courses throughout the year. Best regards, Mile Reese Alert Providing details Dear Jose A, with reference to your inquiry, I have attached a copy of our brochure. You can see further details of our school by going to our website. Please contact me if you have any questions. Regards, Vera Baxter. Notes What would you advise us to do? What is your advice? Can you advise us? Do you have any advice? Please advise us when you arrive. I'll advise you as soon as no. Are there any that you can recommend? Who would you recommend? I can strongly recommend Goodall. They are highly recommended. My recommendation is we recommend using it's best not to start the machine again until he arrives please don't start the machine until he arrives we don't recommend starting the machine until the engineer arrives have you considered contacting goodall we considered buying from roxo we have considered using them. You could contact Universal Tools. Why don't you try Universal Tools? What about trying Universal Tools? I suggest contacting. I would be grateful if you could send me further information. Could you please send me? Thank you for your inquiry. Thank you for your interest in our company. I'm afraid we do not run any courses. I'm sorry but we don't run any courses. Unfortunately we don't run any courses. Thank you for your inquiry. You can see further details of our school by going to our website. It is helpful to provide sources of further information. Our website has further details. Please refer to our brochure for further information. Let me know if you need further. 6. Orders, dealing with problems. Some useful phrases. We would like to order some items from your catalog. Could you please send us a quote? Please confirm that the items are in stock. Your terms and conditions state a delivery time of four weeks. Thank you for your order. I confirm that all the items you ordered are in stock. We will deliver them within one week. There is no additional charge for special delivery. Your usual discount applies. I'm sorry that we cannot meet the agreed schedule. Our suppliers are having some problems. 
I was very surprised to receive your message. You promised us that the schedule was guaranteed. This is very inconvenient. We have still not received our order. Could you let us know what is happening? 6-1 Orders Requesting a quote Dear Rona We have recently ordered some new office furniture which will arrive on 24 July. Could you please quote for Removal of existing furniture, assembly of new furniture see attached list, disposal of all packaging. I estimate that this will be no more than a day's work for two people. With thanks. Kareem. Placing a first order. Dear Sir. We would like to place an order with you for the items listed on page 2 of your catalog. Please confirm as soon as possible that these are all in stock. Your terms and conditions state a delivery time of 4 weeks. Would it be possible to dispatch items 1-3 within 2 weeks as we need them urgently? If there is an additional charge, please let us know. Yours faithfully. Jerome Gilbert Purchasing Assistant. A reply. Dear Mr. Gilbert. Thank you for your order. I can confirm that all the items you ordered are in stock and that we will deliver the items within two weeks. There will be no extra charge for delivery. With best regards, Brad Askew Sales Manager Placing a repeat order Zhu How are you? We're pleased to say that sales of the Alia range have been very good and we'd like a repeat order for the following. Alio 3207 equals 4000 pieces. Alio 3215 equals 2000 pieces. I'm also interested in ordering 3000 items from the Alia range which are in your latest catalog. Could you give us a firm delivery date in early July and confirm that our usual discount would apply? Best regards. Alima. Notes we have recently ordered some new office furniture. With reference to our recent order for new office furniture. Could you please quote for? Could you give us a price for? How much is it going to cost? Please let me have a written quote. We would like to place an order with you. Your terms and conditions state a delivery time of four weeks. Terms and conditions include price, method of payment, delivery times etc. Would it be possible to dispatch items 1, 3 within two weeks? We will dispatch your order on receipt of payment. We will send your order as soon as we receive payment. There is no charge. At no extra cost. Free of charge. It's included in the price. A fixed charge. The price is always the same. I can confirm that all the items you ordered are in stock. The chairs you ordered are currently out of stock. We should have some next week. This is the most recent, the most up-to-date catalog. Could you give us a firm delivery date? 
Could you confirm that our usual discount would apply? Please confirm that we would receive our usual discount. What kind of discount can you offer? Our usual discount is 15%. 6 2. Dealing with problems 1. Problems with a schedule. Dear Mr. Bussos, I'm sorry to say that we may not be able to meet the agreed schedule. Our usual supplier is experiencing difficulties and has warned us that there is a five-week waiting list for delivery of materials. I'm afraid we will fall behind schedule if we cannot find an alternative supplier. Yours sincerely. Brenda Hind a reply. Dear Miss Hind, I was very surprised to receive your message. You assured us that this schedule was guaranteed and there would be no problems keeping to it. Please try to find an alternative supplier of materials so that, that there will be no delays. Yours truly, Dimitri Basos. Damaged goods. Dear Miss Hurst. On Friday 13th March, we took delivery of a consignment of CD cases. On unpacking the boxes, we found that many of the cases were damaged. We have customers waiting for the goods so this is extremely inconvenient for us. We urgently need replacements. Could you let us know when we can expect them to arrive? Yours sincerely. Elliot Banks. A reply. Dear Mr. Banks. I am very sorry to hear that you had problems with our delivery ref FO357. We have sent a replacement order to you by courier. It should be with you before 10 a.m. Tomorrow morning, the same courier will take away the damaged boxes. It is no excuse, but our regular packer was on holiday last week. Please accept our apologies that our service was below our usual standard. Best regards. Jan Hurst. Notes. I'm sorry to say that we may not be able to meet the agreed schedule. I'm I was sorry to hear about it. I'm sorry that we cannot meet the schedule. I'm sorry to tell, inform you that. We will fall behind schedule. We will be late. We will miss the deadline. The goods will be delayed. I was very surprised to receive your message. You assured us that this schedule was guaranteed. You guaranteed the schedule. You gave us your word that you would keep to the schedule. You promised us that you could meet the schedule. On unpacking the boxes, we found. On opening the boxes, we saw. On reading the instructions, I noticed. Many of the cases were damaged. The goods arrived late. The goods were sent to the wrong address. This is extremely inconvenient. It was very inconvenient. It has caused us a lot of inconvenience. This is a great inconvenience for us. We urgently need replacements. We need them immediately. 
We would like a refund. We want our money back. I am very sorry to hear that you had problems. I'm very sorry about this. I'm sorry, it was my fault. I will sort it out immediately. Our regular packer was on holiday. The computer system was down. There was a fire in the building. We have had a staff shortage. A lot of staff have been off sick. 6-3 Dealing with problems too. Unacceptable service. Dear Mr. Dennis. We are very unhappy with the level of service you have given us this year. Your service engineers never arrive within the promised 24 hours and we always have to wait for spare parts. As a result we have had to shut down production on three occasions. I'd like to meet you to discuss how things can improve in the future. Yours sincerely. Catherine Easterbrook Reply Dear Miss Easterbrook Thank you for your letter. I was very sorry to hear about the problems you have experienced. I have forwarded your letter to our customer service manager asking him for a full report. We should meet as soon as I hear the outcome of his investigations. I expect to receive his report by the end of this week. Yours sincerely. Martin Dennis misleading information. Dear Sir, We have still not received this order. It says on your website that you will deliver within three days and it is now five days since we placed the order. Could you let us know what is happening? Chris Moran Reply Dear Mr. Moran we are very sorry that you have not yet received your order and we apologize for any misunderstanding caused by the information on our website. Delivery to addresses outside Europe normally take 5 days. We do try to keep our website up to date and I have discussed this matter with our website manager. Your sincerely. Peter Weiser Rejecting a complaint Dear Miss, oh no. With reference to your complaint reorder number 376, our quality control staff have tested all the goods you sent back to us. I regret that we cannot accept the return as faulty goods since they meet all our quality standards. However, as a goodwill gesture, we will accept them as unwanted goods and will issue a credit note. I trust this meets with your approval. Yours sincerely. Sergio D.A. Silva Customer Service Notes We are very unhappy with the level of service. We were very dissatisfied with your level of service is unsatisfactory. These delays are totally unacceptable. We always have to wait for spare parts. The sales department rarely answer the phone. The goods never arrive on time. We often need to remind you. We have had to shut down production on three occasions. On four occasions we have had to shut down. Every month we have problems. We have problems every month. 
I was very sorry to hear about the problems you have experienced. I was very sorry to hear about the problems you've had. I do not know the outcome of the investigations yet. I expect to receive his report by the end of this week. I should receive the report by Wednesday. I'm hoping to receive it by Wednesday. I should hear from them tomorrow. I expect to hear from them tomorrow. We have still not received this order. We are still waiting for the delivery. The delivery is now two days late. We need it urgently. We do try. We do need to improve our service. The terms and conditions do state. I regret that we cannot accept the return as faulty goods. I regret that we cannot deliver on Sundays. I'm afraid we can't accept. I 7. Short reports. Some useful phrases. Could you send me a short report? The purpose of the visit was to appoint some new agents. The visit was very successful. There is one thing missing in the report. 66% of our customers are satisfied with our products. A third of our customers are not satisfied. Spending rose by 8% last year. Costs went up from £50,000 per year to £76,000. Sales rose substantially. There was a sharp fall in sales. The decline in sales is due to increased competition. Profits rose in the last quarter. What is your recommendation? We recommend you should try a new supplier. We suggest looking at some other companies. You need to follow up inquiries within three days. 7 1. Providing information. A request for information. Janet. Could you send me a short report on your recent Japan trip, in preparation for the next board meeting, I'd appreciate this as soon as possible please. Thanks Simone. A short report. Japan visit report. Background. The purpose of the visit was to take part in the Tokyo Technology Exhibition and appoint new agents to help promote our products in the Far East. Details 10,000 visitors attended the Tokyo Exhibition, 2,000 inquiries were received and 300 orders were placed, two new agents were appointed. Actions Recommendations we need to follow up customer inquiries immediately. We recommend that the new agents should visit the UK to see our production processes. Conclusions The visit was very successful, resulting immediately in new business worth over £300,000. Japan will be a key market for us for the future. Report by Janet Robbins 14th October Asking for missing information Janet Thanks for the visit report. Just one thing missing can you send me the cost analysis showing total expenditure and anticipated income? Thanks Simone 
Providing further information. Cost analysis. Expenditure. Exhibition stamp $10,500. Posting of catalogs $2,200. Flights $2,400. Accommodation $3,600. Expenses $3,700 Staffing $6,000 Total expenditure $28,400 Anticipated revenue $400,000 Profit $371,600 could you send me a short report? Can you send me a short report? Please email me a short report. We hold weekly board meetings. The members of the board will hold a meeting. The purpose of the visit was to take part in the Tokyo Technology Exhibition. This report shows sales from 2000 to 2003. Finance requested a report on expenditure. 2000 inquiries were received. Several complaints were received. The restaurant was closed for two weeks. 200 new orders were placed today. We need to follow up customer inquiries immediately. We need to support our agents overseas. We must make sure that we deliver today. We must ensure our prices are competitive. We recommend that the new agents should visit the UK. We recommend you try a new supplier. We suggest looking at a number of alternatives. Our recommendation is to sign the agreement. Just one thing missing can you send me the cost analysis? There is just one thing missing. Could you please send the cost analysis? Sales were higher than anticipated. Revenue last year exceeded $35,000. 7-2 Focus on facts and figures. Presenting numbers. Visitor feedback. This year we had over 25,000 visitors to the center, a third of the visitors were children under 16, approximately 90% of visitors said they found the center informative and interesting, most people were happy to pay the entrance fee of $3.50. Describing Trends Dear Marcia you may be interested in the findings of our recent survey. Findings In the summer, we analyzed the success of our new TV promotion by interviewing customers in different cities in Germany. Following the TV promotion, sales went up by 30%. In most major cities, in Hamburg, there was a sharp rise of 40% from last year's figures. However, in the smaller cities, the promotion was less successful and sales dropped slightly by 2%. Making Comparisons Product Sales Report First Quarter Compared with last quarter, our supermarket sales are higher. Frozen foods are still our most popular product, with 52% of total sales followed by bread with 20% and soft drinks with 10%. Drawing Conclusions Sally 
Can you include the following in your productivity report? Conclusion Last year's fall in productivity was a direct result of low morale. This low morale was due to the pay cuts that were introduced in March. These pay cuts were responsible for the increase in sick leave. Jamie Notes This year we had over 25,000 visitors. We had more than 25,000 visitors. There were about 25,000 visitors this year. A third of the visitors were children. A third equals 33%. A quarter equals 25%. A half equals 50%. 3 quarters equals 75%. Approximately 90% of the visitors said they found the center informative. France has a 25% market share. 40% of our cars are exported. Most people were happy to pay the entrance fee of $3.50. Sales went up by 30%. Sales rose by 20%. Orders increased last month. Sales peaked in June. Consumer spending rose by 10% last year. Spending increased from 8% or 10% last year. There was a sharp rise of 40%. There has been a steady decline in inquiries. There was a Zifi drop in sales last month. There was a significant improvement in orders. There was a dramatic rise in profits. Sales dropped slightly. Profits went down last year. Sales fell in January. Orders declined last month. Numbers decreased in July. Sales fell significantly last month. Orders declined steadily last quarter. Profits went down dramatically. Sales are higher. Sales were higher in April than in May. This model is more expensive than the old one. Chocolate is our most popular product. This is the least successful product. Last year's fall in productivity was a direct result of low morale. It was a consequence of low morale. It was due to low morale. Morale is a mental and emotional condition of enthusiasm, confidence and loyalty. These pay cuts were responsible for the increase in sick leave. The pay cuts caused the increase. The pay cuts resulted in an increase. 8. Personal Messages some useful phrases. Just a quick note to say many thanks for sorting out the problems. We really appreciate everything you have done. Many congratulations. Well done. This is to let you know that I will be leaving the company. Please come and visit me. It would be great to see you. I was sorry to hear that you are leaving. I wish you every success in the future. Good news. I've just received the results of the survey. The results are very good. You've done a great job. Have you remembered about the party? We hope you can make it. Thanks for reminding me. I'd love to come.
81. Messages 1. Appreciation. Hi Bill. Just a quick note to say many thanks for sorting out the problems with the deliveries last week. We really appreciate everything you have done. Look forward to seeing you in Madrid next month. All the best Tina. Congratulations. Dear Florian. Many congratulations on your promotion. Everyone here in the Tripoli office has asked me to send you their best wishes. We'll miss your visits. Stay in touch. With best regards. Tech. A personal announcement. Dear friends and colleagues. This is to let you know that I will be leaving EFPC at the end of this month. After a very enjoyable career in the Buenos Aires office I have decided to move back to Brazil. Please come and visit me if you are visiting Rio you all have my mobile number. With very best wishes. Mario. Saying goodbye. Dear Mario. I was very sorry to hear that you are leaving the company. It has been a pleasure working with you and I wish you every success in the future. Best wishes. Alejandro. Saying thank you. Donna. Thanks for all your help during the conference in London last week. It went really well. We are planning another event in Dubai in March and we would really appreciate your help there. Let me know if you can make it. It would be great to see you there. All the best. Ashia. Responding to thanks. Ashia good to bear that the event went so well, very happy to help in Riyadh, send me the details when you have them. Donna. Notes just a quick note to say many thanks. Just to say I have received your message. Just to remind you that I'll be away next week. We really appreciate everything you have done. Many congratulations on your promotion. Many thanks for all your help. Many apologies for the delay in sending this. Keep stay in touch. I hope we don't lose touch. This is to let you know that I will be leaving EFPC. This is to let you know that. Just to let you know that. Please come and visit me. Please come and see me when you are in Bristol. You are always welcome here. You must come and see us soon. I was very sorry to hear that you are leaving the company. I was very sad to hear about it. We will all miss you. It won't be the same without you. It has been a pleasure working with you. I have really enjoyed working with you. It's been great working with you. I wish you every success in the future. Good luck in the future. Good luck with your new job. Enjoy your retirement. Thanks for all your help. Thank you very much for everything. I am very grateful for all you have done. I really appreciated your help. It would be great to see you there. I'd be very pleased if you could come. I'd be delighted if you could make it. I'd be very glad if you could help. A2 Messages 2 Good News 
Holly. I'm pleased to tell you that I've just received the results of the latest customer satisfaction survey and the results are very good. I thought you'd like to know immediately. I heard that you're coming into the office next week. Help to see you then. Macy. Replying to good news. Well done, Macy. You've done a great job. I'll be in the office on Thursday so we can go through the results together. Holly. Bad news. Dear Olga. I'm sorry to tell you that George will be on sick leave for two weeks. As you know, he has not been very well for some time. I'll be looking after his work while he is away so if you need anything, please contact me. Regards Tim. Replying to bad news. Dear George. I was really sorry to hear you're not well. I know you'll be worried about your work, but I'm sure that Tim can handle things. Take care and make sure you get plenty of rest. Get well soon, Olga. A reminder. Dear Sarah. Have you remembered that Mona is retiring in June? We'd like to organize a leaving party for her. I hope you can make it. I'm sure she'd want you to be there. By the way, do you think she would like some golf equipment as a retirement present? Regards Duncan. Replying to a reminder. Duncan. Thank you for reminding me about Mona's retirement. I'm sure she would really appreciate some new golf clubs but I recommend that you ask her what she would like before you buy them. Just to check is the retirement party going to be in June? If so, I'd love to come. I'll be on holiday from June 30th. Best wishes Sarah. Notes. I'm pleased to tell you good news. I've just received the results. I'm happy to tell you the results. You'll be pleased to know that the results are very good. I've just received the results. I've just heard that. John has just told me that. I heard from John that. Did you know that? I thought you'd like to know immediately. I thought you'd be interested to hear. I thought you might not know that. I knew you wanted to know the results. I'm sorry to tell you that George will be on sick leave for two weeks. He has been unwell for some time. He has just had an operation. He has broken his leg. I was really sorry to hear you're not well. I was sorry to hear that you have been ill. I was very sorry to hear about the accident. I was shocked to hear about it. Get well soon. We wish you a speedy recovery. Have you remembered that Mona is retiring in June? I hope you can make it. I hope you can make it to the meeting. I hope you can make it on Tuesday. I'm sure she'd want you to be there. I'm sure I told you about it. I'm sure he agreed to come. I'm not sure indicates uncertainty. I'm not sure if I told you. I'm not sure who is coming. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for helping G me. Thank you for send Jag the report. Just to check. Just checking. Can I just check? 
Can you explain what you meant by? I'm sorry, but could you please clarify?